I prefer coffee on a day when I'm trying to be really motivated with schoolwork or just work in general. There is definitely a lot of, a lot of tea and coffee consumption around me because my roommates. It does sort of feel like the start of the day to me. Two straight weeks of every single morning I'd wake up and I'd press some coffee. Is that the verb you use when you're making a French press? I would press my coffee. If it's in the morning, I'm going to coffee. It's just a bit more of a jolt, but at nighttime, I'm making a pot of tea, I think. Tea is something I drink more, I guess, when I want to relax or at the end of the day when I'm just trying to unwind. I like the idea of tea. I like tea as a concept. I like tea parties as a concept. I like chai tea. I live right outside of Chapel Hill in a small town called Pittsburgh with like two blocks and that's the whole city. It's like two blocks and there's two coffee shops there. One called Sweet Bee Cafe and I worked there. I knew my boss beforehand. I told him and I was like, you know, I don't even like coffee. And he was like, you're gonna learn to. And I was like, okay. And then he basically taught me everything. Also the coffee shop I worked at was a theater space. So there was always like rehearsals going on, like children's rehearsals. And so I was always like close knit with these like 11 year old kids that would come in and like get hot chocolate and like caffeine free frappuccinos. And I remember just making them for them. And I was actually with this like 12 year old girl at the coffee shop that I worked at when I got my acceptance letter to go to Sarah Lawrence. I was literally at work. I was like making her a drink and she was probably getting hot chocolate. She was like 12 and I was like, I got an email and I looked at it and I was like, Oh my God, I just got an email from a college that I applied to saying that like they'd updated my, my portal and she was like, open it. And she was like, she, <laughs> um, and so I did and I got in and I had to share that experience with this little girl at the coffee shop and me making her drink and getting excited. And it was just really nice. It was just good. This was a good decision. <laughs> I typically just like wake up and I like, I have the energy, you know, like they splash some water on my face, that's about it. You know? um, yeah, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't drink like a lot of coffee or any kind of stimulants like that. I just get really jittery, like, cause I'm like, I'm a very hyper person already. So it's like, it just makes it worse. When I was younger, like my, my grandma was like really obsessed with caffeine. And like, even though I was seven years old, she'd like give me coffee and all kinds of caffeinated drinks. And so then I'd be like super high energy all day and like even like even wouldn't be able to sleep. I'm like, you know, like a great grandma is like, they're supposed to spoil you. So like she wouldn't care what I, what I had. I don't know, when I was younger, I hated drinking coffee because I hated the way it tasted but now I enjoy it. It's fun to sort of wake up, make my coffee, and like sit in bed with my cat and just chill. I also do enjoy like going and sitting in a coffee shop. Starbucks is always super fun around the holidays. And my mom actually introduced me to peppermint mochas. And that was something that we would get a little too often on the way to school. <laughs> um, so I don't know, just, Peppermint mochas always remind me of Christmas and they make me happy. <laughs> so I live close to a very small city named Portland, Maine and uh, there's this very nice uh, coffee shop called Coffee by Design right on the coast there, right by the water. Very, I mean, very local, and when I say local, I don't just mean like the people that are working there and the product is local. I mean like you're right on the dock, you're right by the water, you're seeing everybody do their jobs. Um, it's almost like you're immersed in that type of 
uh, I don't know, main society of like, hey buddy, let's go get some lobsters, and then you go hit it, hit out on a boat or a ferry or something. So, um, pretty immersive, I think. Uh, my grandfather is from England, and so um, one of the traditions he brought back here when he moved, he was in his late teens when he moved to the U.S., um, was tea, and I can remember going over to his house. He lives like five minutes away from me. I go there every day when I'm home, and I'll go over to his house, and the first thing he offers me is, do you want some tea? Do you want me to go make you some tea? And so I guess for me, it just holds this really special place in my heart and that routine of like, having him make tea for me and just like sitting in his big comfy armchair with pillows and he brings me this cup of tea it's just so nice I, it's almost like wrapping yourself up in a blanket and just feeling very like safe and like comforted so really letting like the tea seep for that full um, like time period is kind of something I didn't always let happen and my grandfather is such a stickler about that like he always like told me like, no, you have to wait like this amount of time and then you add your sugar and then you add your creamer or milk or whatever. Um, and I kind of like threw those rules to the wayside until I actually had time to slow down and do it. You know, just as a human being, there are days where you don't have time to do that. You don't have time to take your time and really enjoy every second of the coffee and tea process. But there definitely is something about taking that moment to just recenter yourself and start your day on like a good note with a good cup of tea or a good cup of coffee that I feel like is really special and I often have to remind myself like this is your first step of the day so just take your time and be there and be present. <laughs>